This is probably the most common question I get asked on Instagram. And that's why I want to share my experience with working for big clients like Marshmallow, Tommy Profit, Subtronics and more. For that, I will show you a few ways that work for me and how I made money with Blender in this video. Let's start with the fundamentals. It is important to practice Blender as much as possible, because the better you get at Blender, the easier it is to get more clients. For the following methods to work, it is important that you already have a certain level of skill and know your way around Blender. For me, for example, it took about a year of regular practice until I got my first client. In this year, it is crucial to upload as much work as possible to Instagram or YouTube or ArtStation or any other website to build your portfolio. And also don't be afraid if it doesn't look good in the beginning. This is no problem at all. Just upload it even if you're not completely satisfied with it because it's so cool for a client to see your progress you made over the years and if you also can scroll down and see like how much you've learned. And it's also cool for yourself to see and motivating. The first way you can get clients is to connect and network with as many other artists and studio as possible. This works the best with local artists or studios from your country or city that you could also meet in real life. This was for me the case and it helped me so much to get my first clients. This works so well because if you're just starting out, other artists or studios probably have more experience and better connections. So if they get a work overload and have too many projects or they have something they can't do or don't want to do, they can just hand it to you and it's a win-win-win situation. You get a new project, the other artists can satisfy their customer because they can refer them to someone and it's also win for a customer because they have someone who can do their project. Another more direct method is to reach out to potential clients directly. It's probably hard if you're just starting out to ask big clients or companies like Nike or Netflix or even big artists, but I want to encourage you to work your way up. Try to start with small businesses or maybe you have a local artist that just has a couple hundred followers and you can do a visualizer for them. So just reach out to them and maybe, yeah, you can charge a huge amount of money in the beginning, but what you want to get in the beginning is A, you want to get work experience in the commercial space and B, you also want references for future projects. And I also really want to encourage you, once you found a potential client, don't be afraid to reach out to them. Better fill out a contact formula too much or a, write a DM or an email too much because the worst they can say is no. So just be brave and try to reach out to as many potential clients as possible. So just a quick story time. This is actually how I got my last project for Tommy Profit. I really like to listen to his music because he does some really cool cinematic sounds and he also produces for NF, which is a rapper I like. So one day I was on Tommy Profit's YouTube channel and I saw that he just uploads a new song with the cover. So I thought to myself, okay, a 3D animation could be perfect for that because it's not as expensive as a high budget music video, but it's also better than just uploading a cover. So I wrote to him an Instagram DM, but he did not respond. So I thought, let's fill out the contact form on his website. And I wrote in the email, like my idea for this animated cover and this animation for YouTube, and also like some references, my Instagram as my portfolio. And to my surprise, he actually responded and I got the job. So to sum it up, I would say always try to analyze potential businesses or potential clients and don't be afraid to reach out to them. So another way, if you're more into texturing and modeling, and if you're not really into freelancing, is to sell your models online. And something you should always do is to try to grow your own channel. If it's on Instagram or YouTube, doesn't really matter. Just try to upload your animations, maybe even do additional breakdown reels or TikToks. And yes, just try to grow your personal brands because that is something that will always help you in the future. So to close this topic, it's really important to me to mention that it doesn't matter at all how much follower you have. You really don't need many followers to get interesting jobs. For example, for me, I got a really interesting job for Marshmallow when I only had a few hundred followers. I think I was around 500 followers and it's way more important that you have good connections and that you network with other people to get cool and interesting client projects. So for that, a quick extra tip to end it is 
to create your own LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn is a really cool social media to connect and network with people you don't really have on Instagram. For example, a marketing person from a big company. And it's just a really great tool to network with these kind of people. And yes, if you want something practically to get started, make sure to set up your own LinkedIn account and network and connect there with other artists and studios or potential clients. I wish you much success on your first or on another client and I hope you can learn something in this video. If you want to support my free videos here on YouTube, make sure to check out my Patreon and you can get now a 7 days free trial with the link in the description. I post assets on my Patreon and also more and longer tutorials there, so yes, make sure to check it out. Also make sure to like the video if you liked it and dislike it if you don't. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions and also don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything in the future. And yes, I wish you all a great week and goodbye.